Hello, Internet friends. My name is Rich Bernier. Thank you so much for uh, clicking on uh, my YouTube channel today. I want to do a quick video on my uh, DC Collectibles Batman, the animated series uh, collection. The reason being, um, I recently managed to pick up uh, Clayface. Now, um, I actually did do a Darth Hall video on this uh, Clayface figure. Not this very Clayface figure. Um, my brother's Clayface figure, in fact. He managed to snag the only one that was at my local comic shop. However, I visited a different comic shop and managed to find my own Batman the Animated Series Clayface. So, what better time than to do a little look at this uh, this line of, uh, of really great, fun figures than right now. Um, I did uh, uh, show these figures on another video. It was sort of an overall video on my DC um, action figures, but I thought... Uh, we would uh, take a little closer look. As always, I'm big on symmetry um, on my action figure displays. And what I want to do is have villains on this side. Villains on this side. And then my heroes in the middle. So we'll start off the middle first. Here we have Batman. Uh, very, very cool figure. There's Robin. There's Bullock. And uh, Commissioner Gordon. They are coming out with an Officer Montoya. Um, in a box set, I will be getting that box set for sure. Over here we have my villains. Um, Harley Quinn, Penguin, Catwoman. That Catwoman, they actually did a, a redo of this figure. You see those uh, those ugly kind of joints you can see in the legs? Or almost looks like there's screws there on the, on the legs. I don't know if you can see it or not. They did redo her with uh, better plastic because this figure also breaks very easily. Um, I just don't want to go out and bother the same, buy the same figure again. So hopefully mine will not uh, shatter just by looking at it. There's Riddler, very cool Joker, uh, Two Face, Man Bat, and a space for another villain to go right there. Now I will say, um, DC Collectibles, what they're doing is they're doing figures based on Batman the animated series, um, as it was known. And they're also doing uh, figures based on the Batman The New Adventures, or The New Adventures of Batman. I'm not actually sure what it was called. Basically, the final season of Batman The Animated Series. Actually, Batman The Animated Series kind of went on hiatus for a little bit. When it came back, they um, redesigned most of the characters. Um, so th these figures are based on the original designs, as well as some figures based on the newer designs. Um, just to save money and space, I'm just buying the figures that are based on the classic um, Batman the Animated Series uh, look. Except for this Two-Face. This is actually a New Adventures Two-Face. However, there we go, however, they have not made a, uh, a Batman the Animated Series version of Two-Face and he actually didn't change a whole lot. So for now, um, he, he's a good placeholder. Hopefully DC Collectibles will make an official uh, animated series uh, uh, Two-Face. But for now, he's fine. Uh, again, there's our heroes, and on this side, we have Reja Ghoul in the middle. There's Talia. Uh, the Ventriloquist, one of my all-time favorite Batman villains. Ventriloquist and Scarface. There's Mad Hatter. Uh, and there's Phantasm. He came in a two-pack, uh, with Batman. Um, and I, I love that movie, uh, Batman Master of the Phantasm. And uh, so very cool to get Phantasm. Uh, not a character that ever appeared in the comics, to the best of my knowledge. Um, just sort of an animated series villain. And there is Two-Face. I have him sporting his ultimate head. So, yes, very, very cool line of figures. Oh, this Arkham Asylum um, gate back here, that actually came with the... Uh, with it Kenner that made the old Batman, the animated series figures? The uh, I don't want to call them vintage figures, but... Um, the the old uh, the, the old the original figures that came out for this this uh, series I think they were put out by uh, by Kenner and then I think Mattel put them out as well so that that's a that is actually an animated series uh, prop but but for some older figures and also if you look over here you see that safe with the money that also came with some old Batman uh, Batman the animated series toys uh, back in the day I think actually the ones that Mattel were doing. Um, so it kind of fits in. Same thing with that uh, that Joker Dynamite. That also came with a, uh, a vintage uh, animated series Joker. So just a few things to throw into the collection. So again, this is not complete by any means. Um, again, that's why I have those kind of empty spaces 
for when we get more figures. Um, we do know, uh, like I said, there's a box set coming that has uh, Montoya, as well as Poison Ivy, Bane, uh, Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc. I think that's it. I could be wrong. Oh, uh, there's also a Batgirl coming out. There's a new Adventures Batgirl, but I'm waiting for the animated series Batgirl. Like I said, she's going to go right there. And Alfred is coming in a really overpriced uh, kind of Batcave diorama, which I will have to get to get Alfred. Um, there is also a bat plane and uh, the bat wing and the Batmobile and also a bat symbol that you can get. I would love to get those, but I, I don't have the money nor the space um, for those, unfortunately. So I'm just sticking mainly with the figures. And since we're in this corner of, uh, of my geek room, um, I'll show you some of the comics that I have on display. Um, just some older Batman and Detective Comics. We have uh, this comic, this Detective comic, and this Detective comic, sorry for the glare, are the two oldest comic books that I own. Um, so there you go. Uh, first appearance of Copperhead. Uh, Batman Family Issue 1. Kind of a cool looking Batman comic there. Um, an older Batman, older Detective Comics. I, actually, I bought that because I thought it was the first appearance of Man Bat. It was not. Um, this is the first appearance of uh, Green Arrow's, at the time, new costume. Probably his most well-known costume. Uh, first issue of uh, the Batman Adventures, which was, again, sorry about the glare, the comic book based on the animated series. And it's actually autographed by artist Ty Templeton, which is cool. Uh, first issue of uh, Batman, well, not first issue, but for part one of Batman Year One. Uh, cool uh, Batman sketch cover. Um, that was done by Becky Cluen, the first uh, first female artist to draw Batman, I believe. And this is the actual uh, issue that she drew, and that's uh, signed by her as well. So uh, a little uh, extra sneak peek at some of my uh, comics that I have on display. Okay, guys, there you go. A very quick um, look at my Batman, the animated series collection, uh, with ugly gaps uh, for where new figures will go. And uh, hopefully when I get those new figures... I will update it. Okay, guys, uh, until next time, of course, uh, same bat next time, same bat place. Uh, see ya.